Hello and welcome to Atlas TV. My name is Jack Duxbury and today we're going to be taking a closer look at Ravel. Right, quickly, what is Ravel? Ravel is a software instrument that has been put out by Universal Audio. I've got one of their interfaces here. If you have one of their interfaces, you can download Luna, which is their DAW, for free. You'll have to link it up to an iLock account, but it was all right. It's actually pretty simple. I've got it running and uh, it runs in Luna. So this is few, but it might seem a bit niche, but this might be useful if you are looking at buying Universal Audio interface or you've already got one because it promises a lot. Let's find Luna and open it up. Right, got Luna here. Ding, 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 ding. Thought it might be interesting in case you haven't seen it before. It's new for me as well. I wanted to see what it would look like. Got it running on my MacBook Pro. Waiting for it. Let's call this Ravel Demo and Create. And we go to Create New Tracks, Instrument Track. OK. Then we click at the top of the Instrument Track, Assign, and I've got Ravel in here. Let's get it going. And this is what it sounds like when you turn it on. Hey, first time I sat down at this, I wanted to be honest and give you my opinion. That was great. I have got the monitors pump in there. It seemed very roomy with that first preset, but I think it's probably showing off one of the big things. A little bit about this. This is a Steinway Model B that they've sampled there. A six foot 11 inch monster and it's using samples from what I garner from reading about using samples and then what you're hearing in the ambience is their posh physical modeling and it was recorded in what used to be called Ocean Way Studios and if you use UAD stuff you might be familiar with Ocean Way the plug-in I use it all the time amazing bit of kit so that room sound let's have a listen to it I dig it. One thing I did notice, got uh, the pedal there going. Just want to give you an idea of what it's like to dig into it. Fast, it doesn't seem to struggle with polyphony. Let's dive a bit in and see. I love how ruddy simple it looks. Uh, I am going to click what this looks like, it's going to open up a menu. Cool, so we've got, let's just go through all the controls and see what they do, yeah? Let's play something and I'll adjust the tone. Uh, I don't have anyone here to help me with the keys, so I'm going to go for this, I think. Uh.
play something the same, we'll just hear that tone. Really subtle. The dynamics will probably limit the dynamics if I go here. So that's cool. If you wanted to really just hammer out a standard pop part, you know, uh, it be, could be like a... So that's cool, and if we whack it right down... Right in the middle was fine for this, nor, nor just USB'd up, uh, not that I ain't fancy. Right, Chris from UA, I see what you're saying, brother. He said, the guys from UA are so cool. They just sent me the code for this and really didn't give me anything other than Chris said, be sure to check out the reverse stuff. And I see what he means. I, so let's have a look. Reverse mix, and I'm going to bring that halfway up and see what happens. I dig it. That is so up my street. What do I play with next? I'm going to go for, I just want to hear that completely like that. Let's make this a bit longer. I reckon you could probably match this to the tempo. Killing, I like it. That's really new. I know I can do reverse piano stuff easy normally with my normal pianos, but I play it in and then I flip it afterwards. To do it live, this even if, just for this one trick, what a hell of a pony. Let's go the longest length. Right, that sustain pedal is quite loud. Let's see if we can turn that down. Let's see what we've got in the settings. Right, uh, polyphony, let's whack that up. We want uh, highest dynamic resonance to reverse sounds. I think that just means that the reverse sounds get resonance. This is key off, velocity to mechanical key off, silent note velocity. You hear those little noises? Oh. I think that's where you set a limit and it means that you can really play those delicate like end of a song. So we're going That one before, I, I nailed it on the, oh, nailed it. But got that silent note, which I, I think is a really cool thing. I get, I'm pretty enthused about things you don't care about, but I spend a lot of time with virtual pianos and this is cool. Uh, I just wanted to hear, let's a mix and then like halfway on each and that'd be enough for the reverse stuff. Let's go back to a normal piano. I love how this is the model that you've got. I dig that. Right now, 
I've made a note of it here, Alan Sides, I hope I'm saying that right, he was the engineer that recorded this, apparently in the know dude at Oceanway Studios, and let's have a look what happens when we move these mics, so I reckon this will be a big part of it. Let's go for something a bit different. Let's crank, oh, come on you, eh? Look at that, oof. So I bring these, let's go halfway. Close, middle, middle, and let's go three quarters. Let's crank it. Back to close. Whoa. Very much like the Ocean Way stuff, it's not reverb, it really is something else. It's more subtle and if I had my cans on, I got the speakers quite a bit away. It'd be interesting to see in the comments how that's affecting the width, I reckon. I'd like to be able to turn the pedal noise down a bit. I haven't seen where to do that. Maybe I'm missing out, let me know. Anyway, let's flick through some presets. So I'm hitting preset tab and uh, let's go for, just to give you a reminder of this. Uh, bite. And let's go for Close Room Classic. Dark Soft Dynamic. Reverse, this will be a train wreck, but just for Cool, and reverse roomy. Right, I'm gonna flick back through and play something that I think suits each one, so bite. Let's go for a bit of... Close Room Classic. Uh... Dark, Soft Dynamic.
Reverse. Reverse roomy. Oh, that's really I'm quite into it a bit there. I love stuff that is fighting me a little bit. Not fighting me, but I love playing with effects and I like that that's built in there. Always no effects on and really simple. Not too many presets, not too many options. Right, in a final test, let's put it back to basic settings and I'm plugged into a Nord got the audio going in and let's just see I've got a Grand Lady D model here which is I think the closest you know it's a Steinway anyway and let's see what they sound like so we've got basic settings um what should I do for it what should I do with a drunken sailor um Lovely bit of decay. I'm going to mute my interface, turn up the Nord. Let's do a bit of how sweet it is. bit mental, I know, but I'm going to turn this down and do something similar.
Thanks if you stuck around this long in the video. I hope this gave you an insight into something that's pretty new and also a new way of thinking in terms of exclusivity of instruments, doors, software manufacturing. Let me know what you think in the comments. I get it. If you're a guy like me that's already invested in the universal audio world, this seems for the same price as a new preamp or a new EQ, you're getting a whole new instrument. And the reverse stuff in here is absolutely primo. Uh, I'd love to, maybe when I've got more time in the future, revisit it. And uh, hopefully we'll get Dan Bing and my friend along again to maybe do some blindfold comparisons and see uh, and listen back on the headphones. Anyway, thanks again. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing. If you don't, let us know. We do read it and we're trying to learn from your comments. Thank you so much. And I hope you're well out there. And I hope this isn't too weird with me being in here on my own. I've just cranked up the microphones, as you can see here. Oh, I've got that at max and I've cranked up the reverse mix and the reverse length. And I'm going to play some stuff out. See you guys.